Hey Sag. Alright you guys, it's gonna be for anyone who has Sagittarius and their sun, moon, rising, and Venus placed in the inner box. I keep in mind. This is gonna love reading and it will not resonate for every single Sag. Alright. First reading will be for the ones that are taken or loosely involved. Second will be for the singles. So let's get into it. What's the overall energy and love for my taken or loosely involved Sagittarians? In regards to their love life, what is the overall energy right now for my taken or loosely involved Sagittarius? Oh, fix it. The snake. Alright, competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder and the other woman or other man. Doesn't matter. Alright. So, I've seen somebody looking over their shoulder. There might be some competition around. Alright, bottom of the deck, you do have twin flames. Okay, that yin yang connection, balance, zen, duality. All right, coupling, complementing each other. So, this actually may be your twin flame. So, let's get into it. That's already getting interesting. All right, you may think there's somebody actually around with you and this person, or they may not be. All right, they, you either know it or you think it. So, let's look into it. What happened in the, in the past with uh, Sad and this person? Change. How's it change? The wheel spinning in your favor. Things going your way. Alright? Wheel is here. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, or an Aquarius. Or any fixed sign. Okay. Alright. Let's look into it. Clarify, clarify a little more about what happened in the past. Six of C. Nothing but good things. Okay. Six of Cups. Alright. Again, Scorpio energy. Alright. This, this could be somebody from your hometown. Uh, for a small portion of you, this could be someone from your hometown, someone you grew up with, um, you may have children with them, or you feel like this is someone from your, like, a past life, like, you feel like you've known them a long time. It's a very nostalgic feel, okay? Like, it looks like fate and destiny, to be honest. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Cups, that's actually a really dope combination in a love read, okay? So this might actually be your person. Because when the Wheel is spinning in your favor, that's spirit spinning it that way. And Six of Cups is a nostalgic energy. So, in the fact that you have the Twin Flames card right here, too, I like that. That, that may actually be your person. Alright? What's going on in the current energy? Let's talk about the current energy. Got like three cards came out. Everything looks so good. So, why does Snake come out? I guess it's the near future. Alright, so look at Two of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Fool. Taking a risk with them, taking a chance with them, being in that relationship, it looks so happy, yo. It looks really happy. Yeah, nothing but good cards so far. All right, could be a Cancer, Leo, or an Aries. All right, have, begin the recognition you deserve, or vice versa for some of you. All right, taking that leap of faith, having that new beginning with them. This is it's beautiful. All right, some y'all are actually committed to this person, and vice versa. All right, yeah. See, even at the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Pentacles. What's else about holding on to somebody? Okay, it could be a Capricorn. Alright, what's what happens in the near future outcome for um what's, like, what's the most likely near future outcome in love for taking it? To, okay. Uh, okay. Well, we see why that happens. Okay. The magician and the uh hermit. Okay. Aries and Virgo energy. Now I gotta clarify why the hermit's here because I'm seeing somebody walking away. Okay, someone may be waiting on somebody to do something, is what I'm seeing. I don't know why that's coming up. Three of Wands is the card of waiting, or the card of your ships coming in, like things you're waiting on to come in. Why is the Hermit here? Why, what's going to cause the Hermit? Enlightenment. Clear as day, enlightenment. Somebody's going to come to some type of realization about something. Um, I don't know if it's good or bad. It can't be that good if somebody's looking away i think it's gonna cause somebody to close off emotionally to somebody all right king of swords energy i don't know why i really don't and i'm trying to understand because everything was perfect why is the snake here why is the snake here for Sagittarius? somebody's inconsistent somebody may be inconsistent i'm not understanding i'm not understanding because it was i'm talking about the reading is perfect up until that Somebody may feel that somebody is a player or that they're inconsistent or that they don't, I don't know, like something about giving somebody enough attention, possibly. Eight of swords, three of swords. Somebody feels like somebody's a game player. 
And I'm not seeing that. Somebody is really need to look like y'all got the same kind of energy that Pisces got. If you're dealing with the Pisces, go watch the last Pisces reading I did. If you um have Pisces in your chart, then go watch the last Pisces reading I just did. Alright? Gemini, Libra, and a Capricorn energy here. Bottom of the deck kind of shows it all. Somebody is stuck in their head that they're gonna be um, heartbroken or um, attached to somebody that's no good for them and I'm not seeing that. And I think that anxiety is going to make somebody want to walk away and the other person is going to try to make it work. Someone may, I don't know, someone may clarify more about the hermit please. It's gonna come. Three, I'm not understanding. I don't get it. I'm not, I don't, I'm not even going to try to get too deep into it. I think somebody needs to get off somebody's back. Is kind of what it's looking like. I'm seeing somebody being stressed out for nothing. This is your person. Someone's afraid that they're with a player, though. Let's get, your, let's get your additional message. Any additional messages from my taken or loosely involved Sagittarius? If you are loosely involved, I'm seeing a relationship too coming up for you. For the ones of it actually may resonate more so with some of you that just got into a relationship. I don't think this is for somebody that's been in a relationship for a while. It could be, but that's not what I'm getting. Because I'm saying somebody being extremely paranoid. Any additional messages from my taken or loosely involved Sagittarius in regards to their love life? Anything else they need to know? Show them what they need to know and not what they want to know. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirits of fun to shine. So some of you actually were with this person for a good little bit, all right, or been with them for a while, all right, with the playfulness card here, okay? All right, so, okay, now I want to clarify the past a little more. Okay, yeah, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Now I'm, okay, now I actually understand the story. So, this person did do something to you in the past. And it's throwing you off. And that's, it's actually making more sense now with the fool here in the present. I feel like you're going to get the recognition you deserve from this person, right? And then with this fool here, you're really going to try to be like, you know what, let's just go ahead and do this. Let's just be like, let's do this. And I, I do see a return from a, with a past person here in the past. So, it could resonate differently for anyone. But I do feel like this person was a player. If they still, hopefully they're still not. I feel, I still feel like someone's going to gain some type of clarity in the near future. That's going to make somebody go single again. I feel like there's somebody you dealt with before. Where you felt like you had to look over your shoulder every five minutes. To see if they were with somebody else. Male or female, doesn't matter. Um, this person's going to try to make things work with you. But I feel with the hermit here that you're, you're going to walk away. Or they are. Someone's going to walk away. And I'm seeing like a friendship bond instead of anything else. Like I'm seeing is going from a relationship to a friendship. Eventually. Um, that's what I'm getting here. And I feel like you're trying. They Either you or them are trying to recapture that romance y'all had. And I feel like, I, I honestly feel like it's still there, alright? But I just feel like someone can't get over that too much for what, whatever happened in the past, alright? But you need to be playful with them. Or they're going to be trying to be like really playful with you. So right here is like, you need to be playful, okay? Alright, let's see. For last but not least, we're going to singles read. And that'll be it for the day. <laughs> All right, so what's overall energy in love for my single Sagittarius? For the one that is currently single. What's, the, what's their um, overall energy right now? The dragonfly. Be lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. Okay? The main keyword I'm getting from that is heal. What the fuck? You good? <laughs> my dog. All right. Bottom of the deck is mask. So you're needing to actually heal and not look like you are healing. For a lot of you. is the first thing I got. Some of y'all look like y'all are doing better to other people. But on the inside, are you really? Is what, I'm, what it's looking like. So what's um my, my single Sagittarius? What is their focus right now in regards to their love life? Got about three cards here. Okay, you are... <laughs> Sad, you got a lot of options. 
either you do now or you're or you're waiting for options. All right. If you have options, some of them could be a Sag, Aries, or a Scorpio. So you are your main focus right now is to pick one of them, but you also have your guard up towards your options too. That's what it's looking like to me. Yeah, some of y'all are stuck on what to do about your current options or about what happens after you start to get some options. Is what it's looking like. Um, could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, what's coming up in love for my single Sagittarius? Money. Money. Uh, financial abundance. Stability. Luxury living. Okay. Focusing on self. Eating better. Doing better. Looking better. That's all I'm saying. But underneath, like I said, literally at the bottom of the deck, Nine of Swords, like I said, still stressed out. Okay. But Dragonfly and the Mask are exactly what I just said. That's the, look, what's coming towards you right now? Looking good, feeling good, doing better. All right? But underneath all that, what no one else can see is you're still stressed out about whatever happened in the past for you. Okay? And whoever, you know, fucked up that bad. Okay? Is what it's looking like. So you're really, really needing to heal. All right? Put it back. Bye. And what's the most likely outcome in love for my Sag singles? What's the most likely outcome in love for my single Sagittarius? But hell, as long as you look good, right? But no, for real, um, try to really take some time to yourself and really just kind of do you. Oh, okay. So near future outcome is the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Could be dealing with a Virgo, Capricorn, or Aries. Okay. I like this. You may be having some type of stability coming up now. Okay. For for a lot of you, it's mental clarity. Or physical. Not clarity, stability. It feels... Because I feel like in the near future, you're going to have a lot going on. And then out of nowhere, it's going to just be stable. Something's going to stabilize it. For, for a lot of you, um, I'm saying possibly a relationship coming up from one of your options. But right now, I feel like you're just kind of doing you. I feel like you got options, and I feel like you're going to end up eventually choosing one of them. Um, but right now, you have your guard up to a lot of people, possibly even some of your options, like I said. But there's one in particular that stands out for you, and you look really good to them if there's somebody around. If you don't have anybody around, don't worry about it. Um, but I do see possibly a, um, a commitment coming up for you. Right. Any additional messages for my single sages in regards to their love life? Some of you, if, you, if there is somebody around you, they watch your social media or you watch theirs. If you're not watching theirs and you know there's somebody around, somebody's watching you. Any additional messages for sages? That wanted to come out. See? Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask. Okay, why? Someone is wearing a false self mask. That's all I said throughout this whole read. That card of, of a mask, right? Look at that. Not showing true feelings. All right, so the best, first of all, the best way to heal is to actually express your emotions. So find somebody you trust, okay? Heart to heart conversations, all right? Have, that, have some type of heart to heart conversation with somebody you trust, okay? Let it out. Because having it bottled in actually doesn't help, okay? It is honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Crazy enough. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other, all right? Whether it's with this person or somebody else. But let it out. But all right, you guys, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you enjoy. And if you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.